just got out about your line and so maybe amid all the chaos <laughs> you guys uh, you know kind of kept it routine if you will in terms of uh, playing the way that you want to play is that uh, kind of what your mindset was coming out of game one um it was still think we had some some shifts with uh with a little chaos but um i think we we played well uh we created some chances uh we got to be a little better in the d zone um not giving up too much um and then we got to have a little more patience with the puck in 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 all three zones and and support each other a little more so We've talked about what we want to change for, for this game tonight, and uh, hopefully we can go out and do that. We talked about uh, how it had been since 2019 since you played a game in front of a, a home whiteout crowd. So how would you rate the overall experience of just the atmosphere and, and how much fun, I guess, that was? Uh, well, I haven't jumped on the bench like I did last game uh, for the first goal uh, since probably 2019. So... <laughs> Uh, that explains it. Um, it's fantastic. You know, you come out there uh, for the first period and, and the building is buzzing. Uh, the True North is as loud as I've ever heard it. Um, and during the game, it's, you know, you focus on the game, but you still you still hear them. So um, it's a pretty, uh, pretty bright rink out there when everybody's wearing white. Um, so maybe some guys need some tinted visors. I don't know, but it's a uh, it's a lot of fun. It, this is it's pretty great. You hear about home ice advantage. Is that an example where like you guys really feel like there is an advantage to being at home? You can channel that energy from the crowd and really build momentum. Well, that's that's kind of what I uh, said before game one. That's you're looking to to get the crowd into the game and, and, you know, be that extra guy out there. Um, and I think they did a pretty good job of that. Uh, we're not looking to give them a, a show like we did last game. I don't think Colorado is either. So it's, uh, it, it's going to be a, a great game out there tonight. Nick. Adjustments that you described in your first answer sound a lot like the tweaks that you make to your system and structure during the season. To, to try to correct what isn't going according to plan. So in that regard, was it a pretty um, familiar and quick fix for what you need to do tonight? Um, I mean, I was just talking about my line before. Uh, the fixes tonight, hopefully you'll see them, uh, and we won't give up as much. You were talking about, and so was Tyler, so was your coach, about your line holding on to the puck more. It seems to be like a big theme for you going into this game. What is it about them last game that challenged you to – maybe not hold on to it as long, and how do you overcome that challenge? I mean, they're obviously a really good team. Um, I mean, everybody saw that last game. Um, they got a lot of speed. They're on you pretty quick. Uh, they don't give you a lot of room. But, you know, they did a good job, but we also didn't do good enough of a job to, to support each other when they, when they were on you quick. Um, that's when you want to get the second guy close to you, and laid into him, um, you know, maybe get it to the D and get a quick shot to the net with the guy in front of the net. So, um, you know, it all sounds really simple. And hopefully it is for our line tonight to, to be able to go out and change that. So, um, yeah. Uh, Rick Bonus was talking yesterday about the calming influence that Connor Hellebuck has. How much do you guys see that, whether it's a game like he had the other night or uh, one that's a little more your style? You know, he's... You know, for us, the best goalie in the league. Um, and, you know, LB is, is, is right up there as well. So when you when you got a, a two goalies like that um, who, you know, mentally are extremely strong and, and, you know, they let one in and they don't believe that should have gone in at all, every single goal that they let in. So um, – you need that, and you know they're uh, they're fantastic for us. And like you said yourself, they've throughout this whole season they've you know won games for us, um, and they keep doing that. So um, we're pretty lucky. Nick, when Nathan McKinnon gets wound wound up with the speed that he has, it, it kind of reminds me of not a lot of players, but you're one of those guys who has that speed, that slingshot speed, like he does. You watch him to pick up on his game and and 
see the things that he does at speed and see if there's anything there you can add? You always look at, at the top guys in this league and, and you know him this year, he's, he's definitely been up there. Um, you know, for me, maybe one of the, what well, maybe the best in, in the league this year. So you look at other guys and see what they do um, with the puck, without the puck, you know, how they um, change their speed to, to confuse the de the defense. Um, so, yeah, you, you do, I mean, I watch a lot of hockey. Um, so you do pick up on a few things and, and you know, try to implement that in the way that you play and, and see if it works for you. And if it doesn't, you, you find something else. Um, so, yeah, he's definitely a player that, you know, a lot of, po a lot of players in this league that uh, look up to and, and, you know, you're always looking for that little extra thing that can change your game. So, uh, yeah. How would you describe the impact Sean Monahan's had on your group? Ah. Uh, I mean, he's a he's a pretty funny dude. Um, I know you meant on the ice as well, but you know he's obviously a great player. Uh, what he's been able to do since he got here speaks for himself, and you know he's a very experienced guy that uh, just go out there and, and you know works hard, uh, makes the right plays, is in the right positions, reads the game really well, and you know like I said, off the ice he's a he's a really funny guy and. Um, as well with everyone and you know um, got some got some good jokes out there so uh, he's been uh, he's been a huge addition to, to this group.